Hey guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today, I got a very special treat for you. Now, I was inspired because this particular bartender has been uh, in, the, in the popular culture lately. Um, today, I'm going to do for you uh, Jeffrey Morgenthaler's modern classic cocktail, The Bourbon Renewal. Um, if you guys don't know who Jeffrey Morgenthaler is, he's a bartender from Oregon. Uh, he is, I believe, still the head bar guy slash program director at Clyde Common in Portland. Uh, I believe it's in Portland. Uh, I actually didn't check my facts to make sure it's in Portland, but I think it is in Portland. I have not been there. I intend to go one day. Um, and then, you know, you know, he's kind of been in the popular culture lately because he was teaching Seth Meyers how to make a um, Spanish coffee on late night. So I thought, why not make a Jeffrey Morgenthaler cocktail? This one's awesome. It's a lot like Dick Bradsell's um, Bramble in its approach. And so I kind of feel like it would, um, I don't know, it would appeal to those people who really like that drink. Uh, so let's get into it. It's a pretty simple drink. All we're going to do is take li lemon juice, one ounce, throw it in a tin. Next up, half an ounce of creme de cassis. If you don't know what creme de cassis is, creme de cassis is a neutral well it's a spirit made in france usually by taking black currants and either macerating them into brandy or macerating them into neutral grain spirit so that's what it is um and then we're going to do a half an ounce of simple syrup and last but not least two ounces of bourbon Today I'm using Buffalo Trace and I'm using my very special Dom and Cheryl edition Buffalo Trace. So my friends Dom and Cheryl actually went to Kentucky, bought a barrel, had the barrel bottled, had their own logo put on this bottle and then gave them away to um, everybody that they are regulars of. So these guys are just like these may, may, amazing people cocktail enthusiasts that have been sitting in front of me at my bar for years and years and they are pretty well known uh, around town and this is just an amazing gift and I'm actually loath to use it although when I told Dom that I didn't want to use it because it was like collector's edition kind of Buffalo Trace he sort of laughed but I just I love that the whiskey in this bottle was chosen specifically uh, for the people he wanted to give it to that's just amazing and then the last thing we're going to do, recipe calls for one ounce, I mean, for one dash, I'm just going to put two, because we're using that small dasher of Angostura bitters into it, and that's it. All we got to do, we're going to put some ice in our glass, and then we're going to put some ice in our tin, and drop some ice on the ground, and then we're going to add our cocktail, and shake it. I think I actually hit that off my microphone. So if you hear a big boom, I don't know if we're going to edit that out. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, and we are going to double strain. Now I am assuming that, of course I forgot it as usual, this is going to be just a lemon wedge. We just want to cut it right there. And you got your lemon wedge there. And there you have it, my good friends. Jeffrey Morgenthaler's wonderful drink, the Bourbon Renewal. Now, I forget to say this in every single video, and I'm going to say it now. If you guys like our content, please hit subscribe. It really helps us out. We're trying to get those numbers up so that we have more opportunity to bring you wonderful uh, content. I want to also let you guys know that we have a new concept, like a new show that we're going to be releasing uh, in a few weeks. And uh, just hitting that subscribe button will really help us out. Um, it's going to be really exciting, and I think you guys are really going to like it. So we're going to have two things kind of released on our channel at the same time. So hit subscribe, hit the like button if you like this, if you like this, drink this cocktail, and be happy.
There you have it. Ta-da!